Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After creating the vendor records to indicate the agencies for whom you are collecting sales taxes, you then create the actual sales tax rates within the QuickBooks item list. You can open the item list by selecting Lists, Item List from the menu bar. Within the item list window, you must create a separate sales tax item for each sales tax that you must report, not necessarily for each sales tax you collect. This is because in states that collect both the state and county sales tax, some states want you to report state sales tax and county sales tax as separate items, while other states want you to report them as one item. To create a sales tax item within the item list, click the item button in the lower left corner of the item list window, and then select the new command from the pop-up menu that appears to open the new item window. In the new item window, select sales tax item from the type drop-down at the top of the window. Then click into the Sales Tax Name field and enter the name for the sales tax. Enter a description of the sales tax into the Description field. If this sales tax item is the only sales tax collected within Customer Forms, then enter the sales tax description as you want it to appear within Customer Sales Forms into this description field. Then enter the sales tax rate as a percentage into the Tax Rate Percent field. Use the Tax Agency Vendor That You Collect For drop-down to select the name of the vendor to whom you submit the payments of this sales tax after it has been collected. When you are finished creating the sales tax item, click the OK button to save the item into the item list. If needed, you can repeat this process until you have created all of the individual sales tax items that you must report as required for your company file. If you collect and pay more than one sales tax from multiple taxing authorities, such as a state sales tax and a city sales tax, you can then create a sales tax group within the item list so customers will only see one cumulative sales tax amount on invoices and sales receipts. In the next lesson, you will learn how to create a sales tax group item within the item list to collect multiple sales taxes for multiple taxing authorities as a single line item within sales forms. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.